News at 6. Less money available for rape crisis centers in Illinois will result in staff cutbacks for McLean County. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Stepping Stone says it is losing close to a third of funding. Now the director is concerned about keeping its 24-hour hotline staffed. Brett Brooks spoke with the director and joins us live in the studio with tonight's top story, Brett. Amber and Tyler, the Federal Victims of Crime Act, signed into law in 1984, is funded with money from certain court fines and fees. Now that revenue source is down, meaning less money for rape centers like McLean County's Stepping Stones. Illinois has 31 rape crisis centers and 50 domestic violence agencies who receive federal funding. In Bloomington, Stepping Stones is a smaller agency with an average annual operating budget around $1 million. But this year, the agency is receiving $300,000 less than last year, and Director Jen Galladay is concerned. Our programs, which are counseling, advocacy, and prevention education, all have uh, positions that have been eliminated. Um, so we're going to be operating at about 50% capacity starting July 1st. Some of the operating costs also goes to tools and games like this, books like these, to help those who sit on the couch deal with their trauma. It's for like emergency food, emergency clothing in the hospitals for folks who go there and perhaps have to give their clothing over to the police for evidence um, that, where they can leave in, a, in an outfit. You know, they're homeless. We can provide a, a hotel room if they just experienced an assault and they need to get someplace safe. In Peoria, the Center for Prevention of Abuse CEO Carol Myrna says her agency is also receiving less money. A cut of $600,000 to the Center for Prevention of Abuse for sexual assault services and domestic violence services. And we expect that to bounce back in a few years, but we know we can expect at least three years of those cuts. She says last year there were more than 22,000 people across the state who experienced sexual violence or domestic abuse and needed services from the agencies like the Center and Stepping Stones. Myrna says thanks to community support, the Center for Prevention of Abuse will be able to hold steady. We are prepared for this next year, um, but after that we don't know what's going to happen. Now, the money provided in the new Illinois state budget might help replace some of those federal funds that were lost. The agency directors just aren't sure how much that will be yet. Amber, Tyler, 